There we go. There we go. My microphone wasn't plugged in all the way. It's early. What are we going to do? Um, thanks everyone for tuning in for another super low key early Monday morning sketch practice. Um, my name is Megan coming to you live from the Wacom Experience Center here in Portland, Oregon. Um, the purpose of the stream is to really like play it in the background if you want. I'm going to sit and doodle. I like to start off my Monday mornings just with some doodles and sketching to kind of just start my week off. Um, you know, normally my day-to-day -day job um, managing a team here at the Wacom Experience Center doesn't include a ton of creative stuff, so this is my one kind of dedicated hour and a half to doing whatever I feel like that is creative and drawing. It's also just kind of a nice way to get up and like get your muscles going for the week. Um, start off with something fun, something chill. Um, I'm not trying to impress the world, but it's also something that if anyone out there is also taking this time and just getting up before they start work, before they start commissions or whatever, just sit and draw something silly, something that makes you happy and see where it goes. I'm going to be in Photoshop today. I actually, so the past couple weeks I had been doing a few drawing workshops um, centered around holiday cards. And so I thought, well, now that it's too late to mail out holiday cards, let's move over to New Year's. So I am in Photoshop. I'm actually using some of the new Kyle Webster winter brushes. He has this tubular brush, which I'm a really big fan of. Um, that's what I did these letters with, that's, or numbers, numbers and letters, right? Um, I went through and I adjusted some of the settings on this brush after watching Christopher's stream last week where he took a, a break just to kind of explore some of the brushes, but this tubular brush is like magical. It's really, whoa, whatever that was. Um, I really like it. It's, he makes the coolest brushes. think what I want to do is make a little New Year's card. I'm going to fix these numbers. These are a little jank, but that's okay. We'll start start somewhere, right? We got to start somewhere.
Hey, Jess Collins, how's it going? I'm making a New Year's card today, Jess, but I'm using these, um, I'm like fully addicted to this tubular brush, I'll tell ya. That's also not the color I wanted, but I actually really like it. <laughs> There's a Bob Ross happy accident for you. When it's not 2020 anymore. What is this? What sort of shenanigans is this? Oh yeah, guys, I've put in a redo for for the year. Put in a redo. Officially, as of right now, we're gonna redo 2020. Actually, I just want to like fast forward past it. To be honest, we can just go somewhere else. <laughs> it's kind of like heavier than the other one. No, it's totally tubular. It really is, really is the most bodacious. Bodacious, the best word. You gotta channel your inner, like, Bill and Ted. Jess, I was gonna say, I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a fun week ahead of you. These are, like, the last few days before, <laughs> before uh, Christmas break, which is super exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've got pies lined up to make. A uh, hot buttered rum to drink. I'll probably cook some actual good food, some sustenance in between. <laughs> Other than that, it's just pies and hot beverages, which is fine. Fine by me. Christopher, I hope you had a good weekend too. I, let me tell you a funny story. Um, you burnt your bagel in the oven. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Oh, thank you, Jello Potato Art, also favorite username, Jello Potato Art. Uh, yeah, pies and hot beverages. I don't know, like, th that's just, this is my life. Also, I'll tell you a story. Every time I come to this little dry media brushes I get super stoked I'm like oh look at this natural edge I forget it's an eraser even though it clearly says eraser um I just don't read so whoops I don't know how many times I'm like oh, I'm gonna draw with an eraser today it's pretty it happens it happens it happens hope you guys are doing well we are this is our super chill Monday morning sketch to get your hands ready for the week stream I am nowhere near as cool or as talented as Carter and Christopher. I definitely can't compare it to Will Sliney. Can't hold the candle to Cartoon Katie. <laughs> I just like to draw doodles and I'm gonna draw my favorite doodles. I'm gonna draw some leaves because that's just what, that's like my zen spot. Although, <laughs> Jess Collins, I love, 
The fire bagel. That's too good. Too good. <laughs> Seems like really aggressive. Yeah, 2021. I almost decided we were just gonna do a redo and do 2020, 2020 over, but I'd kind of like to just whoosh, we can just like be done, be done with it. So I'm stoked on on 2021. I had read this. Someone posted something really funny. Um, I'm hiding this. Maybe I won't. Um, about. No, it came back. The Roaring Twenties happening right after the. Um, I think what what was it the like the Spanish flu or whatever happened in like nineteen eighteen. They're like, of course, of course that happened right afterwards. Everyone went crazy and needed to dress up for no reason. So I think we have a fancy few years ahead of us. We'll see. Also, Katie, I hope you had a good weekend. As a Christmas special, everyone, all seven of us in this chat room, uh, as a holiday Christmas special, we're going to re-air Cartoon Katie's Artist Takeover. I'm real stoked on it. So get ready for some Steve eating a bowl of ramen. That's great. I'm glad you had a good weekend. take over the <laughs> I'm totally fine with that truth be told I would be 100% fine with that I know I was I was debating on going back and airing um, some of the first uh, Christopher did a cool like macro photography shark and water and then like the first um, First Clash of Cronies episodes are pretty great. There's just a lot of little vintage gems, as I like to say. Super meta, super meta. Get out of here. Sorry, I, I don't know about you guys, but I talk to Photoshop. <laughs> I feel like it, it is a requirement. Also, what the heck was that? It's early. I'm only on cup of coffee when number one. also trying to think of and I need your guys's help for this think of a project to start for next year thinking of something this is like extended homework club oh you do you do need to mail out those <laughs> I heard those as badaps badaps stickers Are there mushrooms in where? In in here? In my in this thing? Is this what you're talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> um anyways, I'm trying to think of a project that I can like work on. This is like homework club on steroids. Um also that just looks a lot like elf ears. Hold on. Which isn't bad. It is time for our annual twelve hour Lord of the Rings marathon. But um 
I wanted to start a project for the Monday streams, something that I can work on consistently. And I've been looking, I fall into this bad habit of like looking online for inspiration and then seeing a bunch of cool stuff that already exists and then I'm like, oh, I can't do this, right? Like I, the like self doubt gets me. But at first I was like, oh cool, I'm gonna make, like let's remake a tarot card deck, but there's so much that goes into that. Uh, that then I thought, what about just a regular deck of cards? And so there's also 52 weeks in the year, 52 d cards in a deck. No, I could do one card a stream. So I think I might attempt to make a, a set of playing cards. I'm gonna try to, there's some really gorgeous ones out there too. Um, if you start looking up like artsy, or like creative like designer playing cards there's some really beautiful ones um i might start drafting out some ideas and then we can discuss next monday <laughs> and then we can decide what i do starting in january yeah i figured i mean it might not even take me a full 52 weeks but knowing me it probably could um yeah it's kind of cool like it's a lot of repeat patterns you know obviously no, I think I would do plain cards, like Jack, Queen, King, Jokers, two through, what is it, two through nine, two through ten? I should know this. I have cards somewhere, somewhere around here. But yeah, then like the face cards are the ones that are always like super fancy, right? Like the ace of spades is always the most, often times the most like beautiful card in the deck. I literally have no idea what I'm doing right now either. <laughs> this is like... This is like a true sense of doodling. I'm just drawing and I have absolutely no uh, idea what's happening. <laughs> I actually don't know why I don't like the green. My original idea, I wanted gold numbers. I think I still want those gold numbers. Okay, drive safe, Christopher. Do we want 2D, 2D numbers? Is that what we want? That is a yellow. The whole stream is just going to be an hour and a half of me rewriting these numbers, so get ready. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm get out of here. I'm going to work this way. I'm going to go out this way either. Like, out of my life. Out of my life. You're junk too. Out. Trash.
so I was I was used on the Googles. Uh, I also yeah, thank you guys. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draft out some concepts, just like do a little like sketchy McSketch sketches, and then um, we'll circle back next Monday. We can discuss the directions. I did start Googling and there are some like super gorgeous, super gorgeous text-based designs on playing cards. Like there's a lot that obviously like play on like a king and queen and all of that stuff and that have like the imagery, but some of them are just text and they're super, they're super, super cool. So then I was like, ah, oh, great. These red things already exist. I don't even know, but that's okay. I can make my own. There was also a really cool Lord of the Rings set, which then I was like, well, no need to try to make another one. If Lord of the Rings exists, then I'm already behind the ball. So random question while I have you all in this chat with me. Is anybody watching Utopia? It's on Prime, like Amazon Prime Video. Um, I started watching it last night and it's pretty awesome. on the wrong layer. Wrong layer. No, it's not a game. It's a TV show. Um, so one of the, it, it is based, it, the TV show, the storyline is, is based around uh, comic books. And it's, it's crazy. It's pretty dark. Um, but it's kind of, I don't know. It's just like a mix of a lot of things, but it's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Steve. Good morning. Steve, the unintentional viewer. Um, it's really great. It's very timely. Uh, there's a lot of like talk of infectious diseases and pandemics, which they were like, oh, maybe we don't roll it out now, but I'm glad they did. It's, it's just super cool. Um, but yeah, it's based on like the storyline revolves around. Um, I know I, the storyline revolves around this, these comic books and like these kids are like chasing after it and because it, you know, predicts things that are going to happen in the future and it's this really like deep storyline but one of the writers is the woman that wrote Gone Girl and Sharp Objects. Uh, Gone Girl is a phenomenal film. I hate Ben Affleck but I love that movie. Um, real good. Like there's good like the characters are really well written and super crazy. It's always that thing of like you think you have a character figured out and then you completely don't but not in like a, not in like a predictable plot twist sort of way, if that makes sense. Yeah, I broke down Jello Potato Art and was like, fine, I'll have Prime Video. There's a couple of really good, really good shows on there. I sort of like hate having it, but. I highly recommend it. So now if everyone could just watch it, then we can also discuss. Okay, I need to fill in these little leaves. Um, I also realized that, so we don't, we don't have cable. I just have like a few select streaming channels. Um, but I also realized that 
HBO Max has a really good Studio Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli? Either whatever. It's great. They have a really good, like, selection on there. So that was, that was exciting. Happy discoveries while I'm being a bum sitting on my couch, you know? Raise Photoshop. Mm. Oh wait, here we go. I see. I see what I did. I've got two screens. <laughs> oh, that sounds like heaven, Katie. God, the Mary Tyler Moore show is great. Her was she the first one to wear pants on TV? Which is such like a ludicrous concept, but brilliant and amazing. Mary Tyler Moore is great. Also the Golden Girls. I My niece and nephew that live close to us uh, a couple years ago, I don't know what it was with like the youth of America getting real into Golden Girls, but there was a has been this like rash of teenagers just loving some golden girls which is fine with me that's gonna be hilarious Next up, you gotta start watching like Laverne and Shirley, um, oh, or Mork and Mindy. It's another good one. I typically see stay up later than Steve, so I like to find whatever creepy true crime stuff I can watch. There's also a new documentary on uh, um, Heaven's Gate. <laughs> he has to wake up early to go to work, so I watch lousy television while he's sleeping. That's great to get a uh, to get a fresh perspective on these shows from the sixties and seventies has to be hilarious. I wonder. I want to know his opinion of like what sticks and what doesn't. Like, are there, I'm sure there's some cringeworthy, uh, like phrasing and dialogue that happens. That's funny.
Oh my god. Raid! <laughs> Thanks to Will Sliney. Get ready, y'all gonna get real bored. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Will. This is intimidating. I'm normally used to our nice little, like, <laughs> five-person chill vibe on Monday mornings. I've got, see, we hydrate with coffee for these streams. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm gonna give everyone... <laughs> this is great. Oh my god, are those, like, little, little spidey, spidey pops? We're looking forward to it, Sormoto. Like, it's almost here. It's almost here. So, this is hilarious. This is Megan, guys. How's it going? Uh, my day-to-day -day job is way more operational than it is for doodles. I do have a uh, background <laughs> in fine arts and graphic design. These Monday morning streams are... I know, welcome to the time travel stream. I'm just delivering everyone back into... <laughs> uh, back forward into 2021 land of possibilities where we're allowed to go outside um no this is like my doodle jam so i literally just draw whatever comes to mind nothing spectacular nothing remarkable there is there's no cool stuff no comic books nothing rad i'm definitely not drawing spider-man or star wars although i did watch the mandalorian so we can discuss that as well um I use this stream a as a morning, as a in the morning to like wake up and get going. But it's really just like me. I don't know, doing like nonsense doodles before I have to go and reconcile all of my expenses for December. That's exactly what I have to do today. Oh my goodness, Will! I know everyone. Will got a new Cintiq Twenty Four. Uh, oh my god, I could draw, like, a spider, but I can't. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I could draw Spider-Man. Next year. Next year we'll work on it. Um, Will got a new Cintiq Pro 24. Uh, they're beautiful. I'm glad you love it. Um, I'm glad it made it there safe. I'm always nervous to, like, I don't know, shipping. I don't know how stuff works, you know? If y'all go back and look at any of our other Monday morning stream, I draw a lot of silly foliage. This is literally like the least important things <laughs> on, on earth. I feel like I need Christopher here to draw Spidey on a unicycle. I'm like the DJ that's too cool for requests because your request is gonna mess up the flow of my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> how are all you guys doing irish and sketchy it's evening time in ireland i hope it's i hope it's lovely over there it's raining in portland so i hope it's i hope it's raining in ireland i don't know that one looks like junk get out of here this is just get out of my life it is touchscreen, yeah. So there is um, things I'm good at, product talk. Um, you can get, so the larger format Cintiqs, the 24 and the 32, you can buy them with an option um, with or without touch. Um, I don't know, oh, you guys can't see this. So right up here, there's this little, it's probably not gonna say it. Should I turn it off? Ah, whatever, it's not working. My fingers don't work on these things. Um, but yeah, so you can get it with touch or without touch. Um, it's, I think it's literally like a couple hundred. Um, yeah, cool new edition. It's nice. Sometimes... Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are making me chuckle. I was sketchy. That's hilarious. Yeah, sometimes touch is nice. I oftentimes hate it. Um, unless I want to move a canvas, um, there's another thing too. I mean, a lot of creative software and certain programs have better touch, um, response built in. So like certain programs you'll notice it's happens in sketchbook a lot 
Um, you can finger paint, which is super annoying unless you're too, like, that's your thing is wanting to do digital finger paint. But yeah, it's nice just to be able to easy turn it on and off as you go. It's not too bad. I know I need to do like, what does spider and eyes look like? Oh my God, I'm failing at life here. There's like spidey eyes, whatever. I'm not drawing Spider-Man in front of Will. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Out of my life. <laughs> yeah, Katie's got to do Sweet Peas 24. I think both Carter and Christopher right now are working on 24s. It's it's great. There is the 32 inch, which is like ridiculously large. I don't know anyone that has a table big enough for uh, those 32s. We keep joking that it needs a, a set of legs so it can like fold out like a table. Um, then you could just, then you can just like eat on it, draw on it, you know. Oh yeah, I think he got, I think we got the Ergo Sand. I think that's right. Um, those Ergo Sands are great. Also super heavy, but intentionally heavy so that you can a feel really secure but it allows you to like uh pull the cintiq down and kind of cantilever it over the edge of your desk which is nice so if you are adjusting i don't know you know if you're adjusting your seat or if you want to stand up um stand up sit down fight 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 whatever you want to do uh it's it's super nice it again is heavy but um I feel like especially on those bigger Cintiqs, it's nice to have something that uh, feels really substantial. It's it's funny. So we have the new uh, Wacom Ones, which are a smaller format. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, vertical 32. Unreal. Uh, so the 32s work. Oh, that would be, yeah. I think for vertical, for portrait drawings or comic book pages, that would be nice. It's just like, it's like working on a giant canvas, right? It's actual size. <laughs> it's like it, everything would be drawn like in proportion to the screen. Yeah, that could be helpful. I know um, there's a number of artists that do like 3D rendering. I think a lot of the crew over at Leica, which is a um, stop motion animation studio here just outside of Portland. They have a lot of 32s, um, but they're doing a lot of like ZBrush Maya, um, which is nice. Uh, I think did, I'm trying to remember if Dan Catcher, I don't know if he got a 32 or a 24. Um, so Dan Catcher, which is one of my favorite people in the world, he is a gentleman that did all of the character design and early animation. Eventually there was an animation team that took over the animation, but he did all the design and renderings for the dragons on Game of Thrones. Uh, he actually started, when he started originally doing those designs, he was on like a tiny, old, clunky little Intuos. And we had him come out to do a ZBrush workshop and he's just on, you know, making these like super spectacular, like insane, like two million poly count, hyper detailed dragons on this like rinky dink little tablet. And then we got him a Cintiq and I think he lost his mind. And then the show was over, but that's fine. Hey, Twisted Zephyr. Oh yeah, you out. Like a you go, you're out by like a they're cool. It's it's a real rad place to be. So Will and the raid crew, which thank you all for hanging out and watching me draw silly silly stuff. I mean literally we can just crack jokes all morning. That's I'm here for that. Um, the 32 inch I feel like is excessive for a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it all just depends on how much desk real estate you've got. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. Uh, 
for next year and I think I might start designing a deck of cards. I was trying to think like 52 weeks in a year, 52 cards, what haves ya. Something where I'm not just drawing leaves all day. Or I will draw leaves all day, I don't know. It's, you know, it's my happy spot. It's still early. This stream I literally wake up, wash my face, start coffee, come downstairs, and stream. There's, I, like, no plan. I very rarely think about what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but then now I wake up and I'm like, oh, Will is streaming, uh-oh. He's doing good art. I'm drawing stupid ferns. It's fine, everybody loves stupid ferns. They're my favorite stupid fern. trying to think too so September 2021 time travel with me let's go forward a few months um Portland hosts Rose City Comic Con which of course didn't happen this last year it was virtual and you know had all the standard kinks of trying to do a comic book you know Comic Con type of convention virtually but I'm trying to think of who we need to have show up for oh I did think oh Katie that's a good idea different leaves I know see I'm gonna end up with multiple sets of cards which is totally fine <laughs> wash face drink coffee stream it's you know it's not a bad life I am honestly putting off having to do my accounting duties for the end of the year. Uh, I don't want to reconcile any of my expenses just because that's tedious and I didn't go to art school to do, oh, add whiskey. God bless you, Irish and sketchy. Yes. Whiskey always. You know, it's almost holiday break and then I can have whiskey in my coffee. Although I guess it's pandemic, pandemic, so I could have whiskey in my coffee anyways. No one knows. It's in a mug, right? I like this. I like this. Okay, so who else? Oh, I know. Welcome here for cheese. Monday morning. It's a whole thing. It's a thing. Um, Irish and Sketchy, you stream, right? I know. See, he's late to the party, Katie. He's just out there driving, trying to get down to the office. I do have a bunch of packages and stuff I need to drop off. We are in preparation for the eventual return to the office, whenever that's going to be. Um, setting up like a mini live stream, um, kind of not a studio, but just like a setup. So we've got this like rolling cart that we can connect to, or we will be able to connect to multiple Cintiqs so we can have multiple people in the space at the same time, which I'm hoping soon we'll be able to do, you know, maybe by July, <laughs> if we could use that, it would be amazing. <laughs> Oh yeah, automatically French forever. I do you have a brand? Do you have a brand of whiskey that you prefer? I'm gonna branch out and just say Jameson right now, but uh I don't know if you have a different There's a lot of bullet and a lot of Jameson in our house. I know, twist, when you need to, we'll make you a little, your own little pod. You have a little pod. I have 
no idea what I'm doing now. <laughs> Welcome. Zero ideas. I'm literally going forward with no plan. Ah, yeah, Jameson. Good. Good form. Good form. <laughs> Yeah, Jameson is good in coffee. I mean, it's just good in general, but it's real good in coffee. Uh, oh, I'm like a big, I'm like, I'm like in the movies. Thanks, Christopher. Uh, Jameson is good in coffee. Bullet, we get bullet rye. That's what I put in my pecan pies. Surprise, Christopher. And uh, hot toddies. I'm very specific. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Makers is always stable. Glenfiddich is good. I there's actually this I have this hilarious story from years ago. Uh, I had a friend that was um, like Glenfiddich, nothing but that's what he swore by. This was his like identity was that was his beverage of choice, and he uh, had was like on this mission to find. I think 80, like 80 year old bottle of Glenfiddich and had heard that there was a bar in Portland that had it. <laughs> yes, Jameson is the breakfast of champions. Um, so he was went on this like wild goose chase. This was the early 2000s. Um, went on this wild goose chase to find this like 80 year old bottle of Glenfiddich at this bar and we kept trying to go to different bars and ask like hey bartenders like who has this and so we hopscotched around there was a couple different um like i quote unquote irish pubs at the time i think that well mostly i think closed um but we'd go and no one had it and everyone you know of all the bartenders were like oh well we have this and we have this this is gonna be great whatever and we go to this bar and the bartender was like oh you know we might have that hold on hold on so he's looking, our friend then like goes to the restroom <laughs> and as he's in the restroom, we were like, okay, bartender, pretend like you found it. Give us well whiskey, which I think was probably, oh, I don't even know what the well whiskey was. It was disgusting, but we are like, okay, get us like the, find the fanciest shot glass you have <laughs> or like the fanciest highball glass, <laughs> make it look like an expensive glass of whiskey pour well whiskey tell him it's this 80 year old Glenfiddich um we're gonna totally pull pull one over on him so he comes back out to the bar and we're like we found it <laughs> yay we found it and we all have our drinks and he sits down and he's so excited to drink this like supposedly 80 year old this glass of 80 year old whiskey and was real jazzed and was so excited and like took a sip and was like this is the most amazing thing ever and we are just like doubled over dying dying with laughter like tears because we're like dude you just drink well whiskey and you <laughs> it was really the funniest thing and then we told him that it wasn't the actual 80 year old Clint Fittich and he was really mad <laughs> He was very upset, but I thought it was hilarious. He was so disappointed <laughs> that he couldn't taste the difference between well whiskey. But we tried to encourage him that it would at least save him money, right, in the future, so. Too good, too good. I think the stream maybe got a little laggy. What's happening?
It was a mean trick. Um, <laughs> it really was. But, I mean, we drove him around. We we drove him all over, and we were finally like, dude, you gotta let it go. Like, you're not gonna find this. Uh, I don't know if he ever found <laughs> if he ever found his magical bottle of whiskey. It was just uh precious. I mean, and this is like years before the Multnomah Whiskey Library or any of that existed. I think probably they probably have something comparable to whatever he had wanted. Oh, it is. Yeah, it, he was. I think he didn't talk to us for the at least the whole rest of the day. Or night, because by that time it was late and we had all been, like, on this, like, booze search for this, you know, the elusive bottle of whiskey that most likely doesn't exist. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm definitely not a whiskey connoisseur. I don't know. Um, how much like age makes, I mean, I'm sure it does. I'm sure age makes a difference. So I'm just like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not into it that much. Um, Twisted Zephyr, that's a good question. Um, there is on, so yeah, a lot of stuff is closed right now. Um, there is a really good taco place on 13th, um, like 13th and Irving. Um, there's a bar called Two Wrongs and then right next to it is a taco place. I can't remember what that taco place is called. Um, that spot's really good. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of good coffee places that I know off the top of my head. I, it's hard to say. I haven't, when I've gone downtown, I haven't um, gotten food recently. So I'm not sure what's what's open and what's not open. If you're on the east side, I know, I think Cup and Bar, you can, they have like a walk-up counter you can go to. They have really good avocado toast, which I know might be cliche, but it is delicious. Is it up to us? I, you know what? I honestly, I cannot, I, for the life of me, this is my problem. This happens with songs too. I just know it. <laughs> I know how to get there. 
Um, I don't, it might, that might be, yeah, they're like kind of connected. Yeah, that probably is it. That probably is it. I do like two rums, although I do miss that um, Black Rock, not because their coffee was good, but because their staff was fabulous. little bright. Where else is everyone from? I know there's obviously a handful of people here in Portland. Katie's in Canada. Irish and sketchy. Ireland. Are you in the same area where Will is or a different different part? Oh, Twist is Zephyr, I got you. I'll start a list. I'll start a list for you. I have most places like flagged on my Google Maps, so I have to consult Oracle before leading you astray. Exciting. That's exciting. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. There's some really cool, uh, I know, Canada, woo! Uh, there's some really cool spots in the Pearl um, down, like, on the north end uh, that they've been building over the past few years that are kind of neat. Oh, I forgot that little bridge here. Oops. Oh, that's cool. How are um, how are things going in London? I know we're fully international. See, this was this was my strategy for an early morning stream. <laughs> um, that's super. That's super cool. Top places to visit on my list are, of course, Ireland. It's like the land of my people. Oh, Todd. Okay, I'm hydrating with coffee. I promise there's no whiskey in it. Yet. Yeah, I definitely need to go, go to Ireland. Um, I've debated, so I used to the past few years fly over a couple times a year to our headquarters in Germany that's where my boss is and where some of the other members of our team are and I debated on 
stopping in Heathrow, but then also it's Heathrow. So I think maybe that it's just a crazy airport, but I figured I just want to get all the stamps on my passport. I know. <laughs> Swooping in with that signature hydrate. It's just trying to make sure we're caffeinated and hydrated and ready for the day. I'll have water at some point, you know, like before I go to bed or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm I literally couldn't think of anything. I was trying to like have a have an idea before I started live streaming this morning, but my mind is halfway in holiday mode or not yeah just like holiday vacation mode so i figured we can do a new year's card i don't i'm just i don't know flying blind over here is what's happening but you have to tune in next i know <laughs> Night butt coming in with his re recommendations, requirements. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta gotta hit the save, which I actually haven't done. Sure, entitled. Great. Um. <laughs> oh, we did it. I know. Night butt just wants to be just like you. I wanna be Todd. That's the voice of little night butt. <laughs> I hate spunk. Yeah, what if Nightbot had like a like a voiceover feature that instead of just adding the <laughs> instead of just adding the uh you know things in the chat it actually like interrupted your stream. Have you hit save lately? <laughs> like, no recognizes as people jump into the chat. Todd's here, everybody hydrate. <laughs> Will's experienced the fervent nature of that night bot. He's pretty ruthless sometimes. I mean, he's real pushy, very demanding, really with the best of intentions, but
Nightbot needs to chill sometimes. cracks. I don't know what's happening. Uh, you and Nightbot can battle out on Wednesday. Sinti show. Showdown, showdown, showdown. Which, if those of you don't remember, today is Monday. That means Sinti showdown is on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. You're welcome. I'll stop. I'm obviously. Oh, mustache. I think it totally could. Um, gosh, let me go into me. The memory bank of stylus mustaches. Also, I think the O is on it. I think it's the O. It's also called a zero. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do just like a dark brown mustache. Uh, let's find a good brush. Um, concept. I wish there was just a. Uh, I wish there was a mustache brush. Oh no, we're we're. I'm in for this mustache. It's happening. I need like a good like bristly bushy brush. What type of mustache do we want? Um, this is difficult. Hmm. I feel like I know mustaches when I see them, but... <laughs> Welcome to opening the puck with Cartoon Katie. Get to the puck! What the puck? Um... This is real dark. I want one of these. I want like this mustache. Hold on, this is crap. Is that crap? Look at this uneven crap stash. Get out of here. Since we're drawing such serious things today, this is a very high art, highbrow art stream. I went for the fa fanciest mustache I could think of. Drawing hair is difficult, and I was going to say, Will, one of your characters in Hell to Pay has curly hair, and I don't know... I don't know how you draw that hair, but it's perfect. And it makes me happy. So thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Fabulous. There you go. He's a real fancy boy now.
Yeah, Katie, I feel like you've been on a roll. Also, thank you, Jello Potato Art. Glad you're back. Glad your phone's charged up. Um, yeah, every, you always, you bust out so many great caricatures every week, Katie. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. No, pinkies out for sure. When you draw, you have to draw with your pinkies out. Oh, I hate that. Let's get rid of this. This is junk. I just want. I don't know what I want. I don't know. I know, we need to make little, like, cut out little mustaches for every once in a while. Only when you're feeling fancy. Or just every day. Monday morning mustache. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, we'll get there. Look at the schmucks. Look at the schmucks are. Oh, that is not the schmucks that I wanted. What's this schmuck doing? There we go. That's a better schmuck thing. Some may call them smudge brushes, I call them schmutzers. Product name change in the making. Jello potato art, I support this adventure um, into handlebar mustache and beard rock territory. Um, if you want to get extra fancy, I can't remember the brand, but there is a beard wax, beard and mustache wax that is scented like a gin and tonic, which makes it extra fancy and pine scented. Real lovely. Oh, 
That's a little too Mad Hatter. Get rid of him. Top hat. Look at that. Look how cute he is. Look at this little guy. Actually, now I wonder if maybe the mustache should be at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is driving me. Hold on. This is driving me nuts. I need to get rid of this. Hair gel is forever. It'll never go bad. So just stay up, hold on to that. You never know. I know, 2021 better be a gem or else. Let's see something here. Maybe yes, maybe yes. That feels better. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Much better. Much better. What else? What else? Oh my goodness, Todd Hopart, you are the man.
Pot is a total gem. It's true. And we'll get his face on stream on Wednesday. I'm real stoked about it. Okay, I'm going to save this. Uh, even though Nightbot didn't tell me to, I'm still hitting save. Well, that was a fun goofy doodle. Thanks, all. I know, he got real fancy, Katie. We're here for the fancy, fanciness. Uh, you can't tell by my, like, cat lady, <laughs> cat lady sweater uh, that I essentially live in when nobody's looking. Um, yeah, I think that we're just going to call it, we're just going to call this a day. And these little greens and that mustache, you know, the mustache. Thank you, Will. Uh, that really pulled it all together. <laughs> that rug really pulled the whole room together. Um... So yeah, so it's Monday, September 21st. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thank you, Will, for the raid. That was so super awesome, so intimidating, but we lived. It's fine. Thanks everyone for hanging out, Irish and Sketchy, the rest of the crew from Will's stream. Thanks for watching me do uh, these goofy, goofy ass doodles that are horrifically subpar compared to Will's work. But you know what? everybody's doodles have a place so thanks all for joining christopher i'm glad you got downtown safe whitney i'll start a list of restaurants down there for you uh, and now it's classy with this top hat and mustache um this week's gonna be really exciting so wednesday we're doing a special super special holiday edition of the cintiq showdown uh featuring the one the only the pun master himself todd hopart um, Todd is going to join us on the stream and we'll of course have the regular cast of Carter, Christopher, Eli, and myself. I'm super excited. Um, for those of you that joined on the raid, the Cintiq Showdown is hilarious. It's sketch battle. We have a um, random phrase generator that makes different prompts that, you know, everyone that's drawing has to abide by and you have 10 minutes to draw. It's hilarious. It's all good fun. That will air at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so hopefully those of you that are within range of a time zone or like to stay up real late can tune in. So that is again on Wednesday. And then Friday is Christmas. So for Christmas, we're going to have the meta meta version of uh, Cartoon Katie's Artist Takeover from a few weeks ago in November. We're going to re-air re that and... Uh, if the stream key still works, Katie, bust on in. You don't have to. Please don't. But <laughs> we're gonna rerun that um, that stream because it was such a cool it was such a cool thing, and uh, we don't we don't give Illustrator enough love. Go be Illustrator. This one's for you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Cartoon Katie hosting Cartoon Katie on the Cartoon Katie Cartoon Hour. It'll be great. It'll be amazing. Um, again, thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope y'all have a great... <laughs> thanks, bad Photoshop. Please host yourself. Yes, Katie. Yeah, if you host host us on your channel... Yes, please. This is like Streamception. Yes. I Streamception. I support this. Um, but yeah, stay tuned um, for Wednesday. We hope to see everyone there. It'll be hilarious. Um, we need everyone in the chat to help tiebreaker votes. It's always really hard, especially throwing Todd in the mix. It's going to be really hard to determine who like wins the round. Um, so we need all the help we can get. Uh, so hopefully we see you guys then. Um, if not, have a happy Monday. Go get your coffee. Go have a glass of water between your coffee because it's not as hydrating as we all hoped it is. But it is delicious and it is needed. So have a good day. Thanks again for tuning in. We will see you guys uh, back here. Not different, different bat time. Same bat channel. Different bat time. Um, if not, you can find us on the social medias. We're really active on Twitter and Instagram, so feel free to follow us there. Send us any good art you have, and we will reshare it. And yeah, we will see you guys then. Thanks all. Bye-bye.